Hi, my name is Mike McLeod, Director of Facility Services here at the Biodesign Institute. We're responsible for the physical aspects of this great facility. Solar generation is just coming into its own. It's becoming huge, not only in the United States, but in the world. Here in Arizona, and Arizona is the prime solar generating capital of the world because of our intense sun and the 330 days of sun we get every year. ASU is also planning to be the leader in the world for college campuses in solar power. At ASU over the next two years, the plan is to develop a nine megawatt solar power generating system. This will cover over a million square feet and be able to generate about 22% of the university's needs. And is also equivalent to saving 15,000 tons a year of carbon into the atmosphere. Nine megawatts will run literally a thousand homes. Here at BioDesign, we have a 280,000 kilowatt per year solar generating system that has just been completed. It has a little over 800 panels in it and will produce a voltage of 400 volts. The basics of this solar generating system is the panel. There's three types of panels that are used. One is a monocrystalline, a polycrystalline, and amorphous. The polycrystalline, which is what we have here, is the best value for the dollar. Each panel here runs at 20 volts, 205 watts. We then hook the panels together in series to come up to 400 volts, which is what we want to feed into the main system. The 20 panels it takes to come up to 400 volts is called an array. Each of the arrays are hooked together in parallel and are run downstairs to a voltage regulator so we maintain that 400 volts throughout the day. Different parts of the day, more power, less power will be generated. Right now, midday, we're generating the peak we possibly can. We expect this system will run approximately 15% of BioDesign B. Each panel is set at 10 degrees, which is an engineering calculated uh, angle for the best sun year round because the panels stay fixed. These panels are not anchored to the roof. They're actually floating on top with a, a concrete block ballast system. The solar power generating system has an extremely low maintenance cost. The parts are guaranteed to last 20 years and have a 30 year life. So our expected maintenance, other than weather damage, is virtually none. Here at ASU, we're not only trying to be a role model for solar generation facilities, but also for teaching students about sustainability in design and construction. We have a global institute of sustainability that also has a number of courses that are taken by students uh, on the subject of conserving the Earth's uh, energy. I envision in a short period of time that every rooftop 
has a system like we have on the Biodesign Institute. Within 10 years, Arizona could be able to generate 150% of their electric needs, which means we could transport 50% to other states. Even at your home, with solar heating and solar panel electric generation and an electric car, we can take the average household carbon footprint of 7.5 tons down to less than a half ton, which would be major for the sustainability movement.